All right, let's look at how to get our training content out there and into the hands of our learners. And to do that, we'll need to publish our courses from Storyline or Rise to Reach 360, or we can even import training content from a third-party authoring tool. Once the course is in Reach 360 and it's live, you can start enrolling learners or enrolling groups or, or heck, even let them discover it on their own by, by making it visible in the library. Here's how it all works in Storyline. All right, so I'm starting here in Storyline and I have this, this course, not a very big course, only about six slides here. We've got some quizzes and some interactive active slides and I wanna publish this to Reach. So what I'm gonna do is come up here to the ribbon and just select or click the, uh, the Publish button. And that pulls open some options. It might begin here on Review 360 and I just wanna come down here to the bottom for Reach 360. So you add your, your basic info here. But one thing to note real quick before we look at all the options here is I haven't submitted this course yet. So you can either submit a new course, which is what we're doing here, or you could submit a uh, update an existing course and you would, you would see that uh, changed up here. So in this case, we're just sub submitting this for the first time. So we haven't made any updates. Add your title, your description, and then you have your basic player properties. If you wanna make any last minute changes, maybe update the player that you're using, change the quality, choose what you're publishing. So in Storyline, we can publish anything from the entire project. We can choose a scene or even a single slide from our options, but I'm gonna publish everything, so that's fine there. The course setting options right here, we can change all these in Reach 360. So if you don't make those changes here, that's fine. When you get to back to Reach 360 to manage the course, you can make any updates right here. Now. I'm an admin, I'm logged in as an admin. So even though it has this notes field right here, I still have the rights based on my user account to publish and make this course live from Reach. If you don't have admin rights, you'd wanna include a note here for the admins who publish the course, courses in Reach. So for example, you could just tell them whether the course should be visible in the library, if so, or maybe a different library, anything you want to include there. Obviously you could have that conversation later, but it's just a good place to capture any specific notes here. For the reporting and tracking options, I'm gonna pop this open real quick. So if you're going to publish to an external LRS, so you can publish both to Reach360 as well as the LRS, you can add that info here, how the LRS is configured, manual, supplied at launch, and you can also use your own JavaScript. I'm not gonna do that here because we're just really looking at Reach360. And here for the tracking options, you wanna choose what tracking you wanna use. Now, in this particular course, I have a quiz. There is a quiz results that the learner is required to pass, but I also have a completion trigger that enables the uh, course to complete at any time. So when you're publishing your Storyline course, again, like any course, you wanna think about what is it you wanna track, right? Do you wanna spe specify a percentage or number of slides that the learner needs to complete? Now you can see the different slides for uh, either the slides that are listed in the menu or the slides in the project. The reason there's a discrepancy here is that you have things like result slides. Result slides don't show up in the menu. So that's, that's why that slide count is different. And then you also have the option when learner completes a quiz. And so when you mark this option based on the quiz results, uh, Storyline 360 keeps track of any of the scoring, the, the multiple choice quizzes and however, however many quizzes you have and sends those results to reach for the first quiz the learner completes. So in this case, if I had my, I only have one result slide here, but if I, if I had multiple result slides, I could choose which one to pass, which one to pass to reach. I'm gonna use the completion trigger. So that's a custom trigger in Storyline that you use to mark when the course is complete. And I actually just have that on the very last slide. So Technically, it's working the same as if I had this set to when the learner has completed 100% of the slides. But that completion trigger gives you a little bit more control over when the, the learner completes. All right, I'm just going to click OK. And I think that's it for now. Let's go ahead and just publish this. It'll just take a moment to prepare and publish the slides, upload the course, and then we can finish managing this course in, in Reach. All right, so manage in Reach 360. I'll come over here. Now, again, I'm an admin. I have admin rights, which means that I can publish this course. So if you did not have, if you were a manager, reporter, or a Articulate 360 user author, then you would not be able to see this to make those published changes. So I have my description right here. If I wanted to make any changes, I can do that. 
and you can add a cover photo if you want to upload one from your desktop or your hard drive you could browse content library for one we can also choose topics that just makes the course easier to find in the library if you are making this visible so i'll just say the health and wellness topic if you wanted to view the course you could pop it open there's no report really to view yet since we haven't enrolled any learners and then down below we could choose to enroll groups and learners or individual learners i'm just going to publish it to the library and make this a uh, an available course but i'm not going to assign it so i'll just click publish and here's that same here are those same fields that you saw in storyline so you can always modify this i think this is only about a five minute course and do i want to show a course completion certificate the due date since i'm not making this a mandatory course i am not going to choose one and for library you can choose to make that visible or invisible i'll just choose on and then i'll assign it to the default library so all employees can see that and then i can add topics here one more time and then go ahead and click publish so the course is now live it's published and you can then again choose to enroll groups or learners if you want to bring anyone in i'm not going to enroll anyone yet and i'll just leave the course right here Okay, so the last thing you got to know is that uh, your learners aren't going to be automatically notified when you update the training content. But hey, the silver lining is that they're current if they're currently taking the training or they decide to retake it, they're going to see the new updated content automatically. The best part is if they've already completed the previous version, the older version, their progress isn't reset or affected, they'll still show a completion status.